John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to another episode of Driving with John Chow. Today I want to talk a bit about blog commenting and how to handle negative comments on your blog. As your blog gets bigger and you get more popular, you're bound to receive a negative comment. First of all, don't take negative comments on your blog as a reflection on you. Think of negative comment as a sign of growth because let's just face it, you're not going to be able to please everyone all the time. And no matter how good you think your blog post is, someone out there is not going to like it. That's just, that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. I mean, you know, not everyone's going to subscribe to your view. Not everyone's going to subscribe to my view. You may not like my political view. You may not like my religious view. But it doesn't matter. The point, the point is you will re receive a negative comment. The question is, how do you handle it? In the past, I used to just, you know, let it go into my blog comment that's for everyone to read. Because I figure, you know, you could have an opinion, you have an issue of opinion, I don't care. As long as you're not attacking any of my readers, you can attack me, that's fine. I let it go. However, these days, I do not allow any negative comments on my blog at all. If there's a negative comment, it gets deleted, it gets nuked, it never gets seen again. And if a person tries to make another negative comment, I delete that one too. Now, why did why the shift over? Why the change? Why did I went from you know allowing negative comments freely to nuking everything? Any even just a hint of a negative comment gets nuked. There's two particular reasons. Two reasons. And first of all, I need to credit Shoe Money with this idea. See, Shoe Money used to be like me as well. You know, used to allow all negative comments on the blog. You know, because you know. Flame war is kind of good. See, 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 he thought it was good for traffic. But here's the truth. Negative comments will, can drag your blog's reputation down. See, if you do not crouch or put out negative comment fire quick, it can spread. It's like a form war, you know? Uh, or, yeah, where people post in a form and say, oh, you suck, and then next thing you, you suck, and everyone gets into it, and the whole thread disintegrates. Well, negative comments on your blog can do the same thing, right? So the first reason why I no longer allow any negative comments on my blog is because a blog is not a democracy, right? A blog is a dictatorship, really. You own the blog, it's your blog, it's your world. My, my world, my rule. If you want to comment on my blog, you play by my rule and it doesn't really matter what, what you write or what you think. If I don't like it, I nuke it because that's my right because it's my blog. A blog is not a democracy, it's a dictatorship. That's the first reason, all right? The second reason uh, I nuke all negative comments is because it's just to piss off the person who wrote the negative comment. You see, these people are venting and if they're trying to write something bad about me and I nuke it. First of all, they're gonna try and tell the world that, you know, John doesn't allow people to write anything negative about him or he's chicken because he won't allow this comment to go through. So what they do is they get on social media, they get on Twitter, they'll get on Facebook, or better yet, they'll write a blog post about me on their blog saying how much of a chicken I am for not allowing comments on my blog. And guess what? They're giving me publicity, right? They're writing about me. It's kind of like, uh, why, why do I want them to write negative about me on my blog when I could have them write negative about me in social media or write negative about me on their blog and tell other people that will send me traffic? Now, it doesn't matter if they link to me or not. The fact is they're just talking about me, right? Okay? It's like... You know, look at Kim Kardashian or uh, Paris, Paris Hilton or Paris Hilton. You know, a lot of negative crap about them all over the news. But the truth of the matter is, that helps them more than it hurts them. Because when you're a star or you're a celebrity, it's better to have people talk negative about you than not talk about you at all. 
or blogs the same way. I'd rather have someone talk negative about my blog than not talk about my blog. You know, it's part, this is part of my overall marketing strategy. All right, so when someone makes a negative comment, I nuke it, they try again, I nuke it, they'll go on Twitter and say, yeah, John Chow sucks. He doesn't allow comments on their blog, or I say something negative and he nuke, he nuke the comment, or he never allowed it to go past moderation. So they'll blog about me saying uh, I suck, or, uh, uh, or they'll post some kind of negative rant about me on their blog. And so their reader or whoever reads their blog, they can take a look at it and they go, hmm, I wonder if this is really true. So, you know, they will then, if they link to me, they'll follow the link, they'll check me out. If they don't, well, then they'll probably do a Google search for John Chow. I'm in the first 10 pages, so I will show up. They can then come to my blog and they can decide for themselves. So they'll see my content, they'll see, my, they'll see the value I deliver, and then they can decide for themselves whether or not the comment was warranted. And super matter is, most of the time, virtually 100% of the time, whatever negativity, whatever negative thing they said about me is totally unwarranted. And the reader who came because of that comment will see that and then they can go back, well, that guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Because all I see in JohnShell.com is I see high quality content that delivers a lot of value. I see someone who's willing to give this all, give out all the information, tell us how he makes money from, from a blogging, tell us how he does all this stuff for free. And that's, this guy doesn't want to talk about. So that's, that's what I do. So that's what I recommend you do, basically. If, uh, if you, uh, if you got a negative comment on your blog, instead of letting it in and maybe answering the guy's question, I delete it. I don't even bother. Just delete it. Because you don't, you don't have, you don't need to waste your time or negative stuff in your life. Just delete the comment and go on. Remember, you can't please everyone all the time. So don't even bother. It ain't gonna happen. And know that a negative comment means it's a sign that you are growing, all right? So that's it for this episode. Feel free to uh, comment on, on, on this video. Remember, uh, my negative comment thing also applies to video. So if your comment on this video is negative, uh, it, ain't, it ain't going live, okay? So uh, positive comments only. Tell me how great I am and uh, stroke my ego, all right? So until next time, this is uh, John Chow from johnchow.com signing off.